Tonight, a, a Northeast Philadelphia woman who couldn't resist helping animals in need is at the center of a cruel case of cat hoarding. Dozens of cats were found living in filthy conditions. Our Dave Huddleston has more. One by one, the Philadelphia SPCA removed nearly 40 cats from this well-groomed and manicured row home in Northeast Philadelphia. But investigators say don't let the green grass and holiday decorations fool you. I haven't seen one like this, actually, where uh, you have half of the house decent and then the other half of the house a mess. That's a little, a little strange. SPCA's George Bingo says the woman who lives here owned eight cats that were well cared for. But he says in the basement of the house, they found about 30 other cats in horrible conditions. Very strong smell of ammonia and uh, a lot of feces all over uh, everywhere down there. There's two deceased cats down there also. Uh, amongst the live ones. Bengal says the woman does have a legitimate look to rescue cats, but not at her house. Neighbors say she's been doing it for years. They're usually in the driveway and out in the front of people's houses, but there hasn't been any. So maybe she was just taking them in. She just wanted to help the cats and take care of them. She, she takes care of them. Bengal says people like this always start off with good intentions, but then they quickly become overwhelmed. They can't say no. And you know, they, they take on more than they can deal with. And soon things spiral out of control. They want to do the right thing. They want to save these animals. Uh, you know, they don't want to see them euthanized. And, uh, uh, you know, they, they try to find homes for them. Bengal says in the city of Philadelphia, a resident can have as many as 12 cats and dogs before they consider it a hoarding case. Now, in this case, the woman who we're not naming because she hasn't been charged yet could face multiple charges of unsanitary confinement of an animal and animal cruelty charges.